Good afternoon and welcome here from beautiful Phil Waybright Gymnasium at Argus High School, Argus, Indiana. And this afternoon's non-conference matchup between the Argus Dragons and the visiting Pioneer Panthers on RTC TV4 here tonight. Well, I guess we're just going to go ahead and do the tip. I thought uh, we'd at least do the starting lineups for the uh, JV. They are just going to play a half of a JV contest here as the Dragons numbers are a little low this year, so they've been uh, pretty much just playing a half. So two quarters, two halves, however you want to call it. They're going to be playing two of them. So I went through all the work putting all the starters in here. I guess I could go ahead and show you them. Well, here, they're getting ready to go, so we'll put that back up. So for the Argus Dragons, it's going to be Samantha Redinger. Oh, there, I put them up anyway. There you can see the starters. Samantha Redinger, Bailey Binkley, Amanda Fajardo, Morgan Barkas, and Ava Stackhouse. For the Pioneer Panthers to start the game, Kennedy Korn, Mano Shimotan, Kirsten Nyes, Julia McGrew, and Chloe Lucas are going to be your starters for the Pioneer Panthers here in the JV contest. Sure there, looks like Kirsten Nyes might have... Uh, Twist her ankle a little bit, and Coach uh, Burns is going to call a timeout here early in the ball game. So Val will be joining me here for the call. Actually, Val and Dylan will be doing the uh, the call for the varsity contest here in just a little bit. I like getting the JV contest. It not only gives me a, a good solid start time. I don't have to uh, worry about you know what time is JV going to get done and all that stuff. But you know these girls are out here working hard too, and they need uh, they need some recognition. And as they move up. Over the next couple of years and uh, move into the varsity, then you'll already know them if you're watching at home. You'll have a, a, a better idea of who is uh, who's playing. So I like to cover the JV and varsity as much as I can. There's a lot of these uh, girls here at Argus I've uh, coached over the years, so... Uh, Samantha Redinger there takes the three, is off the mark. Kennedy Korn gets the rebound. So Nyes goes out. Coming in for her is Allison Martinez Domingo wearing number 30. There's a steal by Chloe Lucas, but she steps on the line. And Morgan Barkas gets the Dragons on the board with a two-pointer about two feet inside the three-point line. Chloe Lucas back the other way for three for the Panthers. Three, two, five, oh, five to go here in the first half. We're just going to call it the first half. So we'll do a first half and a second half, I guess, here tonight.
Redinger passes up a three, dribbles out. Barkus is going to take the shot, three-pointer off the mark. And we got Phil down on the uh, second camera tonight, this afternoon here. So we're going to have a couple different angles for you. So we'll uh, give you a view from the floor here from time to time. That shot off the mark by McGrew is going to be out of bounds, and it's going to stay Pioneer's ball. So typically the games that I've done here at Argus, when they do the uh, JV um, half, they've still, uh, or they switch ends just like they would in a regular game at half in between quarters. Two-point bucket for Stackhouse. Puts the Dragons back out in front, 4-3. And the rebound to Lucas. Lucas... Loses it out of bounds, and it will be the Dragons ball. And Allison McGrew, number 22, going to check in for Martinez Domingo for the Panthers. 3.12 to go here in the first half. And Morgan Barkas for three. Time out by the Argus Dragons here with 2.33 to go. Argus leading 7-3. Comes away with it with 2.13 to go here in the first half. Lucas, and that's going to be Dragons getting the rebound off of the miss by Lucas. Redinger brings it down the floor. Schmotan playing some good defense there on Redinger. And we got a foul coming on the Panthers. So foul was on Allison McGrew, her first. And 
And that's going to go off of the Dragons. Panthers will get the ball with a minute 48 to go. Dragons leading 7-3 here in the JV contest. Lucas, and that's poked away by Redinger trying to get it into McGrew. Stackhouse pushes it ahead to Barkus, over to Binkley. Down in the corner to Redinger. McGrew with defense on Redinger. Redinger just inside the three-point line, shot off the mark. Allison McGrew with the rebound. Picks up the foul. It's going to put Chloe Lucas at the free throw line. And she puts in the first. Second free throw for Lucas. No good. And McGrew had the rebound for second and lost it out of bounds. Marcus three-pointer right side, no good. Bailey Binkley with the rebound for the Dragons, kicks it back over. Marcus thought about it, drives into the paint, kicks it across to Redinger. 37 seconds to go here in the first half. Binkley drives in, short on the shot, and Lucas comes away with it, and she's going to take an extra step. Put back, no good, and it's going to be tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay Dragon's ball with 2.4 to go here in the first half. Poked away, and that will do it here at the end of one. We're going to call it halftime as uh, they're only going to play two quarters, so we're just going to call it half. They're going to switch ends here and uh, move to uh, the second quarter slash half here in just a moment. We're going to keep it here and be back in a moment on RTC TV 4. All right, we just moved it over to the fourth quarter. That way you know it's the last, last quarter, I guess. 7-4. Panthers going to the left here in the second half. And Stackhouse puts it in for two. Makes it 9-4. And it looks like Nye is going to get called on an illegal screen.
2-3 zone here with the uh, Panthers, for the Panthers. Number 30, Alicia Sarver into the contest for Argus. Binkley to the hole, shot off the mark, tipped away, and Sarver can't put it in on the offensive glass. Binkley gives the Dragons another shot. Barkus driving into the paint all the way to the basket. A lot of contact there, no call, and uh, Barkus not able to put that one in. Quickly up ahead to Kennedy Korn, her shot off the mark, and Sarver comes away with the rebound for the Dragons. Marcus pushes it ahead to Binkley. Allison Zom, number 22. I didn't see her. She's in the game as well for the Dragons. Dragons able to keep their possession alive here, getting a couple offensive rebounds. Kick over to Zom. Barkus left wing three-pointer is no good. Rolls out for Barkus. It's going to be tipped out by the Dragons, so it'll be Panthers ball. Manoj Mutan coming into the game for Allison McGrew. 4.44 to go here in the JV contest. And the jump will go to the Dragons, I believe, if I have my arrow right. Yep. And that shot rolls in. And Barkus with that one, I guess, looks like. Binkley from 15 feet off the mark. Stackhouse gets the offensive rebound, and they're going to say it was the last touch by the Panthers. Three forty-seven to go here in the JV contest. Barkus good on another one. Morgan Barkus puts it in for two more. Nine points for Barkus. Lead is nine for the Dragons. Drive to the basket, and a foul coming on McGrew. It's going to send Morgan Barkas to the free throw line. Shooting two. And the first is good for Barkas. Ten point lead. Barkus has ten points. That one is in and out for the freshman. Shimotan dribbles in, gets it back up top to Lucas. Fifteen footer is short, and Barkus comes up with the rebound for the Dragons. Quickly across the timeline. And we got a foul coming on Shimotan, her first. That's going to put Alicia Sarver at the free throw line, shooting two. Off the back iron on the first. Thank you. 
And Sarver gets the roll on the second. Makes the score 15 to 4 here in favor of the Dragons. And a foul coming up on Binkley. Lucas, runner, no good, and the offensive glass, McGrew, puts it in for two. in for Stackhouse. Two more for the Dragons. And it's going to be on the floor. On number 22, Zom, her first Allison, two Allisons, Allison McGrew and Allison Martinez Domingo going to check in for the Panthers. And also coming into the game is Jalen Lehman, number two. Or, uh, Sarver gets the rebound. Binkley quickly ahead to Stackhouse. Ten-footer on the baseline, no good. Rebound to McGrew. Gets it over to Nyes. And it's going to be a jump ball. That will uh, stay Panthers on the jump. Is going to be called on number 22 for the Panthers, Allison McGrew. Thirty seconds to go here in the JV contest. Binkley, and she's going to go to the line shooting two foul coming up on. McGrew picking up the third foul for the Panthers. <laughs> and the first one good for Binkley. Off on the second one, 20 seconds to go. Nice. Can't corral that. Binkley, and she puts it in for two with the left hand. McGrew with the rebound. Four 
4.7 seconds left here in the ball game. It's going to be the Panthers inbounding here at Nyes under their baseline. And it's going to be tipped on the line by Barkas. Three point six here to go, and Barkus just steals it right out of the hands of Nyes, and that's going to do it here for the JV contest. Final score: the Dragons win twenty to six over the Panthers. We're going to take a break as we get ready to go for the varsity contest, and Dylan's going to join us as well as Val if he shows up here in a minute. And uh, they'll have the call for us on the varsity game. Get everything reset. We'll take a quick commercial break. Come back and get ready for the varsity game here from Phil Waybright Gymnasium, RTC TV 4. Sophia Bolenbacher was in the starting lineup the other night. She's not in the lineup tonight. Yep, yep. It was. I'm not sure what it happened there. I'm not either, but the Pioneer official. I, I thought they were going to re-jump it, and then he just gave the ball to Pioneer. And with Pioneer, Brooklyn Board just not in the lineup as well. Okay. And some Stricker magic there. So the starting rosters for each squad, I'm sure you heard before. It's For Pioneer, it's Macy Baker, Ashlyn Brook, Kylie Adinger, Haley Kripe, and McKenna Stricker. And then for the Dragons, it's Samantha Stone, Bella Stoltz, Emma Dunlap, Lizzie Edmonds, and Amanda Fajardo. 
Stoltz gets the miss, puts it back in. And the Dragons only trail by one now, 3-2. Pull-up jumper just off the mark. Rebound to Edmonds. I got to tell you, though, Val, I mean, some people talk about some of the NBA's greatest duos, but the forgetting about Pioneers with Haley Kripe and Ashlyn Brooke. My goodness, they combined for 51 of their 60 the other night, yeah. and that's not that's not an unusual occurrence. I mean, we saw them play Castern earlier this year when they combined for 67 between the two of them. I mean, that, a lot of teams have one dynamite outside shooter. Pioneer has two. Edmonds from 15 out, no good. Kripe is a great rebounder. Yeah, pulling down about nine a game. Rebound to Edmonds there. And here comes Dunlap the other way. We're going to get a push. And it's going to be on... Kaylee, Kylie Adinger. Pioneer comes out in a man, and so Argus sets the high ball screen to try to get Emma some space, and it leads to a foul. Here's Edmonds' right wing. Gives to Dunlap. Thought about it. Edmonds, top of the key. And just a little miscommunication there. Stoltz throws it out of bounds for Pioneer to take possession. Argus played mostly zone against OD the other night. I can't imagine them, I can't imagine any team playing zone against Pioneer. Good roll action there. Basket's good for Manager. Here's Redinger, she'll take it with her left, gives a Stoltz, and another Dragon turnover early. And Pioneer runs screen roll about as well as any girls team you'll see. Yeah. Um, Ashlyn Brooke is just great at using the high ball screen. Sometimes she doesn't even need a high ball screen, and that's part of it too. And she only needs, I mean, she can score at all three levels. She can shoot the three, she can score in the mid-range, and she can drive to the bucket and score. Here's Stricker, right wing. Gives it to Baker. Jumper, good. That extends the lead to five for Pioneer. Call it the Val Jinx. We talked about Brooke and Kripe, and the first seven points have been scored by everybody other Everyone than Brooke. Else, and, every yeah. player other than <laughs> Brooke and Kripe. Here's Dunlap. Gives to Redinger. Ball screen from Edmonds. Redinger drives with her left. Floater, no good. And rebound to Baker. You like that shot, though. Yeah. I think about the possession was good, except the ball didn't go in the basket. Brooks, step back, no good. Fajardo setting a screen, not using it. Goes to her left, and another turnover. Here comes Brooke the other way. Dunlap on her. Got it to go. Thought she had a foul, wasn't there. And we're going to get an early timeout, 32nd from the Dragons. As things aren't going as well as hoped for them early on, it's 9 2 going into the timeout. Mention Argus being 11 and 5, two of their 11 wins over teams with winning records. Would you care to guess which two? Uh, Triton? Yep. Second one, oh. I, I, I had trouble guessing until I had to look it up. Well, if you had trouble guessing, there's no way I'm going to know it. It would be Culver Academy. Okay. Yeah, they, I, are, they are nine and six. Okay. But, uh, Argus won at Culver Academy. Okay. And the win at Triton was at Triton. So yeah. you could argue that Argus' two biggest wins this season have been on the road. So back at action yeah. here in the first quarter, we're about halfway through. It's 9-2. to two. Pioneer with six wins over teams with winning records. That includes two wins over Caston. 
and that win over McConaughey on Tuesday night. And another wild pass. Dragons turn it over again. Turnover number four. We have some substitutions for Pioneer. Booken Borges comes in, as well as Maggie Steffel. Brooke drives baseline, pull-up jumper, no good. Back to Brooke. She'll pull up from three. That one's good. They push the lead to double digits. It's 12 to 2. There just aren't many girls who can do that. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> Edmonds tries to find Redinger inside, broken up. Lobbed to Fajardo. Wasn't open, another turnover. Five turnovers in fewer than five minutes. This is going to have to change. When you talk about Pioneer defensively, they've, again, you don't win a state championship by playing just one defense. You've got to be able yeah. to be able to adjust, and that's what they did last year. See Redding or face guarding Kripe. Brooke pulls another three, got it to go. But that's the problem. You can't, you can't face guard a point guard. Yeah, that's, you that is hard to do. And she's... Just all kinds of problems yeah. for an opposing defense. Pass to Fajardo. Here's Stoltz. Just inside the line, no good. That rebound goes to Borges. Oh, gorgeous pass. And we're going to have another early timeout. This one's going to be full. And I know we've seen a lot of good rim protection from Edmonds this year, but also Brooklyn Borges putting up two blocks a game, still pretty good, especially coming from a sophomore. Right, and she she started a lot of last year. She's coming off the bench today, but I know she started quite a bit this year. Coach uh, Brooke may be going with more of a guard-heavy lineup today, kind of going with a four-guard lineup and bringing Brooke off the bench, and she has contributed early on too. And that's the thing with Pioneer too. I mean, they teach... They teach that transition game, you know, through the, the feeder system, through, you know, you learn as a pioneer Lady Panther to run the floor, and especially with Ashlyn Brooke as a passer. I mean, my goodness, what a pass that was. Yeah, I mean, she, I just, she just sees that whole kind of panorama of the, of the court, and, and nobody knows that better than Haley Kripe. I mean, that's what's got to be frustrating if you're, among other things, what has to be frustrating if you're Coach Jennings. I mean, Kripe only has two points out of the 17. It doesn't help, though, that the Dragons have turned the ball over, what, five, six times? Five times. Yeah. And we're just over five minutes into it. So here's Edmonds, right wing, finds Dunlap inside. Finds Stoltz, top of the key. Redinger drives with her left, nothing there. Edmonds takes it in. Here's Dunlap. Key, top of the three key. Er, top of the key three pointer. No good. Another one. That one's no good either. And so here comes Brooke the other way. Lob inside. Picked off by Fajardo. And here comes Dunlap. Here's Edmonds. She drives. No good. Stoltz keeps it alive. Back inside, Edmonds kick out Dunlap. And the Dragons moving it around again. Find Stoltz inside. That's a good shot, just couldn't get it to go. Fajardo, good rebound, tries to put it up. No good as well. Step back three, Brook. No good, short iron. Dunlap, left hand, it's good. Talked with them after the game against OD the other night. She talked about you know, working on her shot during the offseason. She was happy to score 17, but a little frustrated that she didn't score any in the second half. 
credited OD making some defensive adjustments to stop yeah. her. Yeah. Oh, good pass. Couldn't hit the target, though. And the Dragons will get the ball and a jump ball. Turnover number two for Pioneer. So here comes Dunlap with about 35 left in the first quarter. Gives back to Edmonds. Here's Dunlap again. Redinger, wing three, no good. Looks like Pioneer came out in the zone there. Kind of like a 3-2 zone. Yeah. Here's Brooks. She'll go to her right. Good move. Fadeaway jumper. No good. Rebound for Hardo. Four seconds. Three. And decided to pass it instead of taking the shot. And at the end of one, it's 17-4 to four here from Phil Waybright Gymnasium. You're watching RTC TV 4. And so far, Argus, I mean, they're, they're trying to move the ball around. It's not like the ball is just getting stuck on the offensive end. It's not like they're playing a lot of one-on-one -on -one ball or anything like that. So maybe, they, if anything, they need to maybe slow down a little bit. Just kind of calm down and relax and just get the shot you want as we, uh, as we see Bolenbacher and Miller in for Argus. Stricker has it, picks up her dribble, moved the pivot foot. Ball's going to go the other way. Miller to inbound. Here's Redinger now. The last few possessions defensively for Argus have been a lot better. Bullenbacher goes to her right to Edmonds. Stoltz gives to Bullenbacher. Back to Edmonds again. Inside. Has a shot. No good. Rebound goes to Borges. Here's Brooke. She gives to Baker. Cross court. Here's Stricker. Bobbled it. She'll drive. Brooke goes into the middle. Good idea. And we're going to have a push look like Stoltz. It's going to be her first. And also the team's first. And yeah, not many whistles here early. And Redinger face guarding Kripe. Blocked wow. by Redinger. And here comes Stoltz the other way. Gives to Bullenbacher. Back to Stoltz. Here's Edmonds. No good. Bullenbacher keeps it alive on the offensive rebound. Gets held. And that one's going to be on Macy Baker. Bullenbacher, top of the key, gives to Miller. Inside Edmonds. She'll turn. Got it. Yeah. That, that's a good sign. I, I, Lizzie's almost been too unselfish. Yeah. I think it's... She can take the girl who's on her. It could have something to do with mm -hmm. the ankle, though, after yeah. Thursday. You don't know if that's still bothering her. She'll take it herself. Drives in, draws a foul. Couldn't get the shot to go, so she's going to go to the line yeah, for two. I have a feeling Coach Jennings might have had a word or two to say to Lizzie uh, in between periods. It's being gorgeous. First shot's good. Been over four minutes since Pioneer last scored. Second shot's good as well. Cuts into the lead. They're now only down single digits. Four-minute scoring droughts are long, long droughts by Pioneer standards. Sidestep three, no good from Brooke. 
four rebounds each for Edmonds and Stoltz. Oh, right idea. Just had to get a little more air under it, and it's stolen by Brooke the other way. Gives to Stricker. Good. Good heads-up offense right there, noticing the two-on-one. Gives it to Stricker for the basket. If you run the floor, Ashland Brooke will find you. That's a good pass, setting up Redinger for the foul shots now. Redinger's first one's off. Kylie Adinger's going to come back into the game for Brooklyn Borges. Second one can't get it to go. Here comes Brooke. Gives it off. That's a good pass. Couldn't get it the first time or the second. And the rebound goes to Miller now. She'll take it the other way. Redinger gives to Edmonds on the inside. Shots up, no good. Gets it back. Gets the foul and the basket. That one's going to be on Adinger, her second. Pioneer's fifth foul of the game. After only having won the first quarter, they've already committed four. I think Argus getting settled in defensively. I think Argus's length is causing Pioneer a little bit of problems. And they definitely did seem just more passive in right. the first quarter. Right. It wasn't that they weren't passing the ball around. It was just kind of they were almost passing the ball just to pass it. Edmonds can't get the free throw to go. Argus has attempted as many free throws in this quarter as they did the entire game against OD. Brooke comes off a screen, keeps driving with her left, finds Baker. No good. Blocked by Edmonds. Brooks still trying to work Stoltz. Now it's Stricker in the corner, drives, and she traveled again. Turnover number four. Substitution for the Dragons. It's now back to the starting lineup with Dunlap and Fajardo stepping in for Bollenbacher and Miller. Uh, again, part of, I don't know if part of it was a motivational talk to Lizzie, like, hey, you, come on, you got to start looking for your shot. Maybe part of it just, you're a, you're a matchup advantage. They, yeah. They can't guard you. I think that's part of it, too. And now Kripe is kind of guarding her. So Coach Brooke made a little bit of an adjustment during his timeout. I mean, Kripe is going to guard whoever the the best player is on the other team, regardless of whether that player is a guard or a post or whoever. Edmonds scoop shot, no good. Gets it back, still fighting for it. And Stricker comes away with it, gives it to Brooke, and Pioneer's going the other way. Here's Baker, she'll drive baseline. Kick Stricker, 15-footer, no good. Just two rebounds for Kripe. That one no good as well, and there she is again. That's <laughs> Three rebounds for Kripa. <laughs> She'll be getting every rebound between now and <laughs> the rest of the half, because I said that. Here's Kripe, left wing. Nice job by Bella Stoltz fighting through a whole bunch of screens to try to get Brooke open. Good hustle by Edmonds. Good hustle by Baker there as well. And we're going to get a jump ball. It's going to go to Argus. So, Ar sorry, yeah, sorry. Pioneer said about like three different screens to try to get Ashton Brook open. And mm -hmm. Bella Stoltz fought through each one of them. She is playing hard on the defensive end. And she's also got, she's got four rebounds and Lizzie has five. I mean, rebounding has not been the issue. Yeah, definitely. Redinger takes it all the way through. Stoltz to Dunlap, back to Redinger. She'll pull it. No good. And here comes Brooke the other way. Good pass. Borges couldn't get it to go. And here comes Dunlap the other way. Finds Stoltz. 
too far under the basket, couldn't get a shot. Dunlap drives, good defense there by Brooke. Stoltz, pull up jumper, no good. Fighting for it's Fajardo, can't get it. Oh, what a pass. And there's another one. There's another one for Kripe. Edmonds drives, tries to spin. Good hands by Brooke. Redinger drives with her left. Floater, it's good. Another great pass to Kripe. Couldn't get that one to go, but draws the foul. She'll go to the stripe for two. That one's going to be on Redinger, her first. Well, again, with Pioneer's transition game, they're, they'll even run after a made basket, as they did just there. And Samantha Redinger got the bucket on one end. And we have a substitution. It's a foul on the other. It's Allison Zahm in for Bella Stoltz. Yeah, that's, that's a well-deserved rest for Bella Stoltz. Yeah. She has been working really hard out there. Kripe gets the second one to go. And it's back to double digits. And who's going who's gonna to score in this lineup? Because, you know, Zahm and Fajardo are not known for their scoring. And there's a travel from Edmonds. Borges to inbound now. Yeah, that move by Coach Brook putting Kripe on Edmonds really kind of uh, slowed down the rhythm of the Argus offense there. Yeah, because she was sitting at the top of the zone they were in earlier. As Brooke hits a big three-pointer, extends the lead to 13, it's 25 to 12. I don't even know what to say anymore. That's, <laughs> that's, that's ridiculously her, good. That's her third one that she's hit like that tonight. Yeah. Right. Dunlap finds Fajardo. Here's Redinger. Zom looks to feed Redinger. Edmonds. Redinger drives baseline. Tries to find Fajardo in the middle, and it's stolen by Brooke. And she'll lay it in for two. See, again, almost too much passing. Yeah. I mean, Argus passed up an open shot to try another pass. And... Ashton just said thank you very much. Here's Redinger. Good defense by Kripe. Kicks to Zom. 16 footer, no good. And here comes Kripe the other way. Brooke pulls it. Another one. Fifteen seconds left here in the first half. Sixteen for Ashlyn Brook. Finds Edmonds. Puts up a shot. Can't get the bounce. Should go to the line. Yeah, Lizzie is. Lizzie's been working hard all night. Really to get working to the hard. Yeah. Really working hard. She is exhausted out there. First one's up, it's good. Going to get a substitution from Pioneer. It's number 22, Allison McGrew. And number 10, Macy Baker. Edmonds' second shot is good. And you know, Brooke... Yep, there's the shot. No good. Short iron. Don't think she doesn't practice that shot either. I know. I was going to say, <laughs> I'm sure we were all expecting her to have the last shot. And as the first half comes to a close, it's 30-14. to 14. Pioneer so far commanding lead. As 
Yeah, that's the end of first half action here on RTC TV4. We'll be right back. And we're returning now with action here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium. Pioneer's going to start the second half with the ball. They're up by 16 to start. And Argus basically in the man. Here's Brooks. She drives, gives off. Good pass. Finds Adinger, and the basket's good. Screen roll right out of the halftime locker room. And an early turnover. Here's Kripe the other way, and it's kicked by Dunlap. Kripe to inbound. Adinger, another ball screen. Step back three. Brooke, no good. Rebound to Edmonds. Stricker tries to strip it away. Well, and there, Argus made the quick adjustment. Lizzie went to the role player. Redinger, a three, no good. Rebound goes to Adinger there. And stolen by Dunlap. It's a two on two. She'll take it herself. Good move. Got it to go with the left hand. Stricker kind of come up with it, and the ball's going to go to the Dragons. Turnover number seven for Pioneer. Here's Edmonds, right wing. She'll go to her right, spin, find Stoltz. Pioneer kind of looking like they're playing the zone here. Yeah, it looks like kind of a 3-2. Tipped up by Fajardo. Way to keep it alive. Here's Edmonds. Got fouled. She'll go to the line for two. Well, one way to slow down Pioneer is don't let them get rebounds. I mean, yeah. you, can't, you can't play fast if you don't have the ball. And Lizzie now five for six from the line in this game. And she has nine points. Edmonds' second shot's good. That last foul was just on Ashlyn Brook. That's her second of the game. Here Stricker takes it across. Finds Baker. She'll pull up. Got it. Wow. Good shot by Baker there to extend the lead. Nothing special there, just a little weave action. You get a ball reversal, and Macy Baker gets nothing but net. Edmonds gives to Redinger. Fajardo trying to get position inside. Dunlap. Three, no good. Edmonds gets it back. She'll put it up. Rolls in and out. Kripe stuck, finds Brooke. Kicks out Baker, finds Brooke again. Gives inside to Kripe. Back outside to Baker. Both hustling for it. Backcourt violation. Mentioned Pioneer's six wins over teams with winning records. Both of these teams have a win over Triton, who has a winning record. Mm -hmm. Of course, Pioneer and Triton in the same conference. Yeah, what, the Hoosier North? Yep. Yeah. Here's Brooke. Good pass to Stricker. Got it. Redinger right wing finds Dunlap. Pulls it. No good. Rebound to Stricker, and she gives it to Brooke. She'll go to the middle, gives to Adinger, shot's good. Just be ready for the ball. Yeah. Because you know as soon as Brooke drives, everyone's going to suck into the middle. Right. And again, I mean, Bella Stultz usually keeps the opposing offensive player in front of her. Edmonds got that shot to go. 
but Ashland Brook is a different animal. Here's Stricker. Now to Baker on the left wing. Ball screen from Kripe for Brook. Finds Stricker inside, takes it back out. Turns around, goes baseline, finds Adinger. And Brook pulls it. No good. Rebound Dunlap, she'll move the other way. Good defense by Argus on that possession. I think that was designed to get Kripe a pick and pop. Good step by Dunlap, got it to go. And that one was thrown away. Substitution for Argus and Pioneer. It's going to be Borges and Steffel coming in, and then for the Dragons, it's going to be Bollenbacher coming in for Fajardo. And again, Pioneer in that 3-2. Here's Bollenbacher, gives it to Edmonds. Finds Dunlap, it's a two. Got it anyway. Kicks up court. Here's Kripe, a three. No good. Bullenbacher the rebound. She'll go the other way. Edmonds gives to Dunlap. She'll shoot. No good on that three either. That one's going to go off Stultz. It's going to be Pioneer basketball. So here's Brooke. She'll drive in, gives off to Borges, got the basket to go. Edmonds finds Dunlap inside. She's going to get fouled from behind. That one's going to be on Borges, her third. Nice set there by Argus Pioneer, a little slow to react. Redinger drives with her left. Off the glass, no good. Rebound Borges. And a good defense by Borges there. Pulled by Brooks, no good. Stoltz gives to Bullenbacher, and she got fouled. She'll go to the line. I think that's going to be on Borges. That would be her fourth if it is. No, it's on Attinger. Her third and the team's third of the half. First one gets a good roll and drops for Bowenbacher. And now Baker's going to check back in for Attinger. Bullenbacher's second shot good. That one didn't get anything on oh, it. Oh, what a play by Borges. Edmonds <laughs> tries to find Stoltz. Stolen by Kreid. This one, Brooke, good step. Couldn't get it. Double-double now for Lizzie. That's rebound number 10. Edmonds drives. Tries to get a scoop and couldn't get it to go. Got fouled, though. She'll go to the line. That one's going to be on Brooke, her third. So maybe some questionable foul trouble for Pioneer going into the fourth quarter soon. Edmonds' second shot, good. I think that was going to be a lane violation, even if she had missed it. I think Pioneer stepped in early. Here's Brooks. She'll go to her left. Left hand shot. Good. Gives to Stoltz. Here's Redinger on the left wing. Bullenbacher gives to Edmonds in a short corner. Finds Redinger other side. 
Good look. Couldn't get it to go. And the rebound to Craig. Here's Baker. She gives to Brooke. Good pass by Brooke. Finds Kripe again. She'll go up. No good. Got the foul, though. She'll go to the line. Close to a three-second violation there. Yeah. Good vision there by Brooke to find her in the middle like that. Kripe's first is no good. And substitution for Pioneer. Brooke's going to come out. It's going to be me. McKenna Stricker. I almost did it, too. I almost said Macy. And the second one from Kripe is also good. Redinger finds Edmonds. Edmonds goes to her right, finds Redinger opposite side. Edmonds putting on a move, can't get it. Long pass to Stricker. She'll give it right back to Kripe. She'll go to the middle. Good help by Stoltz. Gives Stricker. Baseline jumper. No good. Rebound to Redinger. This is a big time for Argus to try to make hay into this lead with Brooke on the bench. And that ball just slipped out of Bella's hands. Those last two possessions, boy, that looked like he had an opportunity. Edmonds got in the post but didn't really have an angle on the backboard and missed. And then that one, just kind of an unforced error. Here comes Stricker. She'll give to Baker. Goes to the middle. Now here's Kripe. Back to Baker. She'll have a look from the right wing at the buzzer. No good. So Pioneer goes into the fourth quarter with a 44-28 lead. And we'll be back for fourth quarter action here on RTC TV 4. The Dragons are going to start the fourth quarter with the ball. Edmonds and Dunlap had six points each that quarter. Edmonds with 14 and Dunlap with eight. 22 of their 28. Find Stoltz inside. Gives it Dunlap. Three. No good. In and out. Dunlap, or we're going to get a push from Stoltz. Going for the rebound. You know, I always say this about Haley Kripe, and it's that line that people, I think the first time I think I heard it was about Joe DiMaggio and later about Michael Jordan is that she plays like you've never seen her before and she's trying to prove something to you. And for a girl who's going to Kansas to play softball and has already led the state in home runs twice and has won multiple state championships in multiple sports, she doesn't have to do that. Yeah, yeah. But there's, it's not about reputation with her. And that is... You can't teach that. Yeah, but the only time you'll ever see Ashley Brook miss a layup. And the three's good there from Redinger. Well, let's write that down. If the, that's a five-point swing right there. And Brooks three? Yeah, I think Not that's good, but I think we had... Dunlap, I think, plowed through. Or Stoltz. Stoltz plowed through. Okay. Yeah. That's her third. Team's third of the half. I didn't know if he was going to call a moving screen there or if something else happened. So here's Kripe. Gives to Stricker. Baker looks for the split. Not there. And we're going to get another one on Bella. That's her fourth now with still six. Well, and I get it because handshaking is just called so infrequently that when it actually is called, then yeah. people get upset by it. Yep. Yeah. And so now they put Zom in mm -hmm. for Stoltz to guard Brooke. 
Here's Kripe, left wing. Gives to Stricker, top of the key. Good cut by Kripe. Draws the foul. And Kripe's going to go to the line. First shot's good from Kripe. Lizzie's first. How many games were Lizzie picks up her first foul in the fourth quarter? Well, yeah, you don't see that very often, especially from the mm -hmm. five spot. Miller gives to Redinger top of the key. Here's Dunlap now. Edmonds, Brooke defending. Good pass by Edmonds to find Dunlap inside. Gives to Redinger three pointers. Good. And the Dragons look like they're slowly chipping away here late. Here's Baker, goes to her right. Gives to Brooke. She'll drive. Step back three is good off the glass. Stolen by Brooke. It's a one on one. She'll turn around. No good. And we're going to get a jump ball under the basket. And it's going to go to Pioneer. Checking into the game is Borges for Pi Pioneer. For Baker. Brooke to inbound. Finds Borges. Blocked by Edmonds. Here comes Dunlap the other way. Takes it up herself. Gets fouled. She'll go to the line. That one's going to be on Stricker. It's going to be her first and the team's fifth. And that's a sign that Emma's growing in confidence. You know, I saw she and Courtney, were, her older sister, were talking after the game, and I, that might have been subject to conversation. I'm not, I'm not sure Emma, being a junior, I'm not sure she would have made that play the last two years, but she saw, hey, I can take this girl mm -hmm. to the basket. Especially if you only mm -hmm. got a one-on-one. -on -one. So here's Brooke, Zom guarding, ball screen from Adinger, takes it herself, and she's going to be fouled. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Ooh. So official timeout is Brooke is slow to get up. So Baker is going to fill in and shoot the free throws from the Allison Zom foul on Ashlyn Brook. Baker's first is good. I think most people who are aware of Pioneer Girls Basketball knows that Ashlyn Brook has had a history of injuries. Rebound Edmonds. Here comes Dunlap. Her getting hurt again. Hopefully it's not too serious. Yeah. I mean, that's that would be uh, cruel. Especially with how their mm. season's going. Still successful. Yeah. So here comes Kreit. She'll take it herself. Baseline draws the foul. And she's a little slow to get up as well. Yeah, and I'm not sure she was 100% coming into this game. Right. 
Sound on Renninger Dunlap. I guess they said Dunlap. Yeah. First one's good from Kreit. And we're going to get a substitution. It's going to be Stoltz coming in for Miller. Kreip's second shot's good. Dunlap to Stoltz. Here's Zom. Looks inside. Back to Stoltz. Inside out action. Three for Redinger. No good. Fights for it. Gets an offensive rebound. Redinger pulls it again. No good again. Kreip comes away with it. She finds Baker down court, and it's going to be a foul on Stoltz. That should be her fifth. It is, and she's done for the afternoon. As Bullenbacher's going to check in for her. Yeah, just a frustrating night for Bella. First one's no good from Baker. It's good to see Macy Baker back. She missed all of last season with a knee injury. Back this year. Second one can't go, doesn't go as well. Rebound to Edmonds. 13 rebounds for Lizzie. Bullenbacher turns the other way, gives to Zom in the corner. Here's Edmonds, gives to Redinger. Dunlap gives a Zom to Redinger in the corner. And here's Dunlap again. Redinger pulls a three from the corner. No good. Zom comes up with it. Play on the floor. And it's going to be Dragon's ball from the jump ball. Fajardo's going to check in for Zom. And Steffel is going to check in for Stricker. See if Argus runs a play here to get a three. Dunlap in the corner. Pulls it. No good. Just long. Tip pass by Fajardo. Still got to Baker. And the ball's thrown away. Turnover number 10 for Pioneer, 14 turnovers for Argus. So here's Redinger. Gives a Dunlap for three. No good, it's short. Argus missing a lot of these three short, and that might be a sign of tired legs. Here comes Kripe. Turns the other way. Here's Baker. She'll drive with her left. Gives a Steffel. And now it's Kripe again. Finds Adinger. Steffel takes it with her left. Gives it to Baker. 15 footer. No good. Borges inside trying to get the rebound. And Pioneer will get the ball back. And when Brooke got hurt earlier this year, she sprained her ankle earlier this year, and Kripe took over at point guard. So she's played some point guard in her career. Yeah. So yeah, and she she's played some point guard doing. earlier this year. Okay. Um. Finds Borges inside. Good defense by Fajardo the first time, and good defense by Edmonds the second time. Here's Dunlap. Pulls it, pulls it back out. Gives to Bullenbacher. Redinger drives. Floater. No good off the glass. Edmonds tries to keep it alive. Out of bounds. Dribbled it on the baseline. And now Blinkenstaff is going to check in for Pioneer. For Baker. That's not Blinkenstaff. That would be uh, Kirsten Nyes. Freshman. Bell Blinkenstaff has been out with an ankle injury, and they have missed her. Well, can't blame you for not knowing that. 
doing the old uniform switcheroo, but that's what we're here for, Dylan. Thank you. Cripe for three, no good, long. Here's Redinger, she'll take it with her left. And it looks like we're going to have a foul on Borges. <laughs> Redinger's first is good. Is that Ashlyn Brook back on the bench at least? I believe it is. Second one dropped as well. Here's Steffel. Cripe drives and she traveled. So here comes Dunlap. Argus has outscored Plymouth 23-22 this half. Argus has outscored Pioneer 23-22 this half, like I said. Do I have to repeat myself? Oh boy, the brain fog happens when you least expect it. So here's Kripe, gives to Steffel. I must want Euros for lunch. <laughs> that is a walk. And Kripe travel trying to drive. We're just over a minute left in the fourth quarter. You know, Samantha Redding, I guess you can say this about all the Reddingers, but, I mean, that's been a rough assignment guarding Haley Kripe for 32 minutes, but she just kind of plays. You know, she just keeps going. Yeah. And that's, she is tough. Kripe pulls a three, no good, in and out. And not really a good shot there. You don't want to take a three early in the possession, but it's... Especially when you're up yeah, 15. It's going to be too little too late, though. Well, that looked like a walk. Good shot by Redinger, got it to go. As here's Kripe. Time winding down. Less than 20 seconds left. Pioneer returns to conference action with a game against North Judson on Tuesday night. That is a team that has been a nemesis of them last year. Good pass. Good block. Pioneer went 6-1 and one in the Hoosier North last year, and the one loss was to North Judson at home. This year they have to travel to North Judson on Tuesday night. Of course, the Lady Dragons with Bremen coming here for Bi-County. Yep. And that's going to be five seconds trying to get the ball in bounds. Right the Dragons now, are going to get it with five and a half left. Right now, it's all about number 15 and making sure she's healthy. Yeah. Bullenbacher gets a shot up. No good. And that's going to do it for action here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium. Pioneer comes out on top, 52 to 39. Here on RTZ TV4, we'll be right back.